As a pre-order bonus for Super Mario Wonder, Walmart and Walmart alone has this exclusive set of trading cards based on the game. So naturally, your boy has to get all of them. There's 20 total cards in the set, and each pack contains 10. So two packs could, in theory, give me the entire thing. That's not happening. Of the 20, there's 15 base cards, which we should get no problem, four hollow foils, which might be tricky, and one limited edition elephant Mario hollow foil that's numbered one to a thousand. And if we read the fine print, it says that less than 3% of people will pull one. That could mean 2.9% or 0.000001%. I bought five copies of the game for these. One of them I'm gonna keep, one of them I'm gonna give away to you guys, stay tuned to learn how, and the other three I'm just gonna send back. So at most, I have just under a 15% chance of pulling this card. Let's test our luck. So there's a limit to one per customer, so I had to buy five separate copies of the game with five separate accounts. All right, we got the five packs right here. I bought a bunch of these super nice, thick, plastic Ultra Pro protectors, because when I pull this Elephant Mario, I want to make sure it's in minty fresh shape so I can resell it for thousands of dollars. And we got these little penny sleeves for the rest of them, so... Without any further ado, let's get right into this first pack. Pretty much the same artwork as the front of the case. Nothing crazy unique. The back of it's just blue. Can you imagine if I pulled it in the first pack I ever opened? I'd be so hyped. You gotta see these initial reactions. I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything yet, but that's empty. I gotta keep that one. Keep one of them nice, because I'm gonna open all five of these. Alright, so we got the Poplin, Prince Florian, Talking Flower, Toads, Toadette, seeing a darker card, let's see, Trot and Piranha Plants, Castle Bowser is our first, is that a hollow foil? I thought it was, I guess, I guess not. Oh, the back of it's hollow, okay, that makes sense. That's our first hollow card, Castle Bowser, pretty nice looking. We got a Nabbit, the Bullrush, and then Luigi. Not a bad start, we got one hollow foil. Decent chunk of the base cards have been acquired, so now we need some luck on our side. What are you supposed to do? Give it like two little flicks for luck and then that makes Elephant Mario appear, I think. Starting off with another Poplin, that's not a good sign. I see another shiny one. Let's see, Poplin, Toads, repeat. Daisy, new one, there we go. Another Toadette. Another Trot and Piranha Plants. Ooh, Wonder Bowser Jr., our second hollow foil card. It's a different one this time. That looks very nice. I love that artwork a lot. Then another Nabbit, another Hoppo. Or no, I didn't have Hoppo yet. Hold on. That's a new card. He looks very upset that I forgot about him. I'm sorry. Another Bull Rush. And then finally, we get Mario, card number one. Most important card of the whole set. <laughs> Come on. Feeling lucky? Imagine I spent extra to get all these and I don't pull it. Okay, not every pack starts with the, uh, whatever that was, the Poplin. Okay, Prince Florian, Talking Flower, Toads, Wonder Bowser Jr., our first duplicate hollow foil, Superstar, which, is this one of the hollow foil ones? It looks shiny. I think that's our third one. That's good to get. Another Nabbit, another Yoshi, another Bullrush. Peach, we don't have Peach yet. I think that might be our last base set that we're missing. And then a backup Mario, and that's it. So getting down to our last two packs here, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. I'm hoping one of these packs, because there's no limit to one hollow foil per pack. As you saw in the last one, I got the Star and the Junior. So this could be a pack full of the Elephant Marios, like the SpongeBob episode with the... I see Mario on the back already. Toad. Daisy, Trot and Piranha Plants, Goomba, Goomba, Superstar, another duplicate foil, Hoppo, Yoshi's, Bullrush, Peach, and then the Mario, like I said earlier. Okay, so last pack. Can we pull the rarest Mario Wonder collectible, or will I be out $300 for no reason? I'm missing one of the other hollow foils, too. I don't think I've gotten all four yet. There's another one I think I'm missing. We're gonna need a lot of luck from this. I've been getting so many duplicates. I think maybe because I'm opening from the top, maybe if we open from the bottom, we'll have better luck. Are you sure about that? It's another Poplin start. I don't love the look of that. I think I see red on the back. I think that's another normal Mario. Poplin, Toads, Toadette, I don't know. Wubba Mario, this is the fourth holo card, so it took all five packs to get the full set of these. That is 
the fourth one. We have all the hollow foils, all the base cards. Now we just need Elephant Mario. Come on, Hoppo, Yoshi's. It's not gonna be here. Bull Rush, Peach, Luigi, and regular Mario. Damn it. Okay, so I knew I had less than a 15% chance. Something inside me was telling me I was gonna get it. On the bright side though, these cards look beautiful and they give us a really good look at these new Mario renders. It seems like we haven't gotten new ones in like a decade now, so getting an up close look at these is awesome. Also, the little character descriptions on the back are a really nice touch. So I'm not angry. You know, this is a cool looking card set. I'm glad they did this as a pre-order bonus as opposed to just like the stupid shadow boxes and pin stickers. There's a lot of other things they could have done. They went the extra mile for these and I appreciate that. The thing is, no one's gonna trade their Elephant Mario cards for these other ones. You can trade to get the rest of the base set. You're not gonna be able to trade for that hollow foil elephant unless you're trading hundreds of dollars for it so i'll get some nice close-up shots for you of the full set here I'll put them in the nice little cases i got and give you a peek at all of them except for the elephant mario i'm wondering how much this is going for on ebay right now huh three thousand dollars that is a bargain and a half sixteen hundred twenty five hundred three thousand four thousand a thousand with no bids so is anyone buying them this high or are people just thinking they can scalp me Let's see 520 this has 37 bids Oh my god, $520, 37 bids. This is skyrocketing. I'm assuming number 1,000 and number one will be ridiculously high, like even more ridiculous than that. But yeah, that's the cheapest one I've seen and that's going up like crazy. If anyone has the Elephant Mario, pulled it and wants to trade, please tweet at me, let me know, because I will trade literally, because I, I probably have a duplicate of most of the rest of the set. So I will trade you the rest of the entire set for that Elephant Mario, please. If you have it, please do me a solid. And about that giveaway I mentioned earlier, all you gotta do to be entered to win a sealed copy of Mario Wonder is is follow me on Twitter at Jeremy M. Klinger and tweet at me what you're the most excited about for this new Mario game. That's it. A week from today when this goes out, I'll be announcing a winner. The date will be on screen. I'm not sure when exactly this will be released, but stay tuned for that and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later.